ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Mr. Do, and science is my business. Well, welcome to Mr. Do Science World. And today we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. Now, let's look at the meaning of implicit differentiation. When we are given a function, and the function can be defined or expressed as a derivative explicitly we say that that is an explicit word differentiation in a situation where we cannot what we cannot differentiate the function explicitly then we say that it is what it is an implicit word function so let's look at the definition, what we mean by that. In mathematics, an implicit equation is a relation of the form r into x1 up to xn equal to zero, where r is a function of a several variables. For example, the implicit equation of what of a unit circle is given us x squared plus y squared minus one equal to zero so an implicit function is a function that is defined implicitly by an implicit word equation by associating one of the variable with the other thus an implicit function for y is the context of the unit circle is defined implicitly by x squared plus f of x squared minus 1 equal to 0. Now let's go straight to the board and look at this. When we look at this, if I write an equation such as y plus 2x or y equals to 2x plus 3, we can easily find the derivative of this function. And we can see that easily the y, we can take the y, the x, explicitly. But in a situation where we have something like the one of the unit circle as we just described, this equal to 0. If I transpose this, one and get it this way which is the equation of a circle now we can see that this cannot be differentiated explicitly so we need to differentiate this by what an implicit word differentiation and that is what we are going to look at for today now let's go straight and look at this as our first example let's assume that we are given now we need to take the derivative of this. What do we do? Well, there are two different variables in this situation here. We have x as a variable and y as a variable here. And we want to find the derivative of this. So what I need to do is that I will differentiate them term by term. So we need to take what the derivative of each term separately. So let's look at it and see. I take the derivative of this and this will give me 2x plus. I go to the side to take the derivative of this. Remember, this is a function on its own. And I'm taking the derivative of this function, a function of itself. So this is going to give me 2y, the y, the x. And that must be equals to what? We take the derivative of this as well. And once I take the derivative of this, this gives me what? Zero. Because we know this is the constant. Now, what we are looking for is to find what? Taking the derivative, we are looking for what? The y, the x. But now we can see the y, the x has what appeared in here. So that means we need to try as much as possible, simplify this equation, and make the y, the x, the subject. So, to do that, I will transpose this to the other side. I'm going to have... 2y, the y, the x is equals to negative 
2x. And I want to make the y the x. That's what I'm looking for. So I have to divide through by the y the x. Uh, or 2y. So to divide by 2y, I'm going to have what? The y, the x being equal to what? Negative 2x over what? Over 2y. And remember 2 is common there. So we can just cancel out that. And then finally, we're going to have negative x over what? Over y. And this becomes the what? The derivative of this. And this is what we refer to as what? An implicit word differentiation. So this has been what? Differentiated what? Implicitly. Alright, let's look at other further examples. So let's look at an example here and solve this problem as well. Find y the x by implicit. Okay, where x cubed plus y cubed minus 9xy equal to 0. We want to find this, so what do we do? We write down what we were given, which is x cubed plus y cubed minus 9xy equals to 0. Now, look at this. Over here, we are having x and y coming together, so what we need to do is that we will differentiate one, and then we keep the other constant and differentiate the other by keeping the other one also constant. That is what we need to do. So to solve this, I need to differentiate them term by term. So I go to this side, and when I differentiate this, I'm going to have what? 3x squared plus, what will this give me? It will give me 3y squared, the y the x because remember that we are taking a derivative of what a variable against itself so this gives me this minus 9 out now I'm going this 2 I'm going to keep one constant and then differentiate the other so I'm keeping y constant now and I'm differentiating the x if I differentiate x it will give me 1 so that y is kept constant plus now i need to keep the x and differentiate the word the y and when i differentiate y i am going to have what the y the x right and that must be equals to what zero so we need to now simplify this so this is going to give me 3x squared plus 3y squared, the y, the x, okay? Now I'm having the y, the x. Come on there, there is the y, the x here, there is the y, the x here. So let me expand this and get the y, the x so that I'll collect like terms together and then I'll be able to work to find the y, the x, which the question asks me to do. So... This is going to give me 3x squared plus 3y squared, the y, the x, minus, if I multiply this, I'm having what, 9y, and then negative sign again, multiply that, you're going to get what, 9x, the y, what, the x, and this is equal to 0. Now, I have gotten the y, the x here, I've gotten the y, the x here, I need to what? Collect like terms and then finally solve for the problem. So to do that, what do I do? I'll transpose these and this to the other side. So I'm going to have 3y squared, the y, the x, okay, minus 9x, the y, the x, is equal to, I transpose that, I'll give me 9y, and transpose this negative 3x squared. This is what I have now. The y and the x is common here, so I can factor out the y, the x. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to factor out the y, the x. And if I factor out the y, the x, I'm going to have the y, the x, into 3y, squared minus 
9x and that must be equal to 9y minus 3x squared. Okay, now I have gotten this. What I'm looking for is the y the x. So what I need to do is what? Is to divide through by the term that is what? Is standing with the word the y the x. So I'm going to have the y the x being equals to 9y minus 3x squared divided by 3y squared minus 9x. Well, we are not going to end it here because this is not the lowest term. We can see 9 here, 3 here. There is a common factor there. So let's get a common factor out. 3 is out here. I'll be left with what? 3y minus what? x squared. And here also 3 out. So I'll be left with what? y squared minus what? 3x. And once we do that, the 3 is cancelled out. And therefore, what will be our final answer? Therefore, our the y, the x, is finally giving me 3y minus x squared all over y squared minus what? 3x. And this is now the value of what? The y, the x. Actually, we're told to find the y, the x by the question. This is what? The y, the x. And this is what? An implicit differentiation. Example 2. Okay, so now based on the two questions that we have solved, let's now try to come out with something that guides you in solving problems. Process of implicit differentiation. One, differentiate term by term both sides of the equation with respect to x. The chain rule must be applied for any term containing what? Y. Two. Correct all terms containing the Y, the X on one side of the equation and all other terms on the other side. Three. Factor out the Y, the X. Four. So for the y, the x, by dividing both sides by the factor multiplying the y, the x. And the last one, which is number five, you will simplify the result if possible. This should guide you in solving problems, which is what an implicit word differentiation. Any problem that you meet or you encounter that you need to solve, you know that it cannot be solved what? explicitly, but you need to do that implicitly. You need to do that by following what? This guide. Alright, so let's solve these problems. Find the derivative of y with respect to x, the y, the x, by implicit. So we want to find y the x, okay, for this, each of these functions that we are given, each of these equations that we are given. So quickly, let's begin with uh, question number one. Question number one. Okay, this is the first one to solve. x squared plus y squared is equals to 8x squared y cubed. So what do I do? I just need to go straight away. I differentiate. I take the derivative of the first term, which is 2x plus 2y dy, the x. Okay, is equals to 8 out. And now let's differentiate this, keeping this constant. So this will give you 2x the y cube plus now I want to keep this constant and then differentiate this so that will give me 3y squared the y the x 
Now we have done this, the next thing to do, you see we have applied a product rule into this. So the next thing that we need to do from this point now, we're going to expand and then we're going to collect like terms, group all the, the Y, the X together and solve the problem. But this is going to give me uh, 2X plus 2Y, the Y, the X is equals to, when I multiply this, this will give me 16 x y cube and then on this side we'll multiply this by that so that will give us plus 24 x squared y squared the y the x now that we have gotten this what we can see is that there is the y the x the y the x here there is the y the x here so we need to collect like terms we're taking all to one side and then we transpose the other also to the other side. So this is giving me 2y, the y, the x. This comes here becomes negative 24x squared, y squared, the y, the x. And that must be equals to 16xy cubed minus 2x. Okay. Now I have gotten this, what is the common thing? The y is here, the y, the x is here, the y, the x is there. So I'm going to factor out the y, the x. Okay, so let's factor out the y, the x. Now, if I factor that out, I'm going to have the y, the x is now being into what 2y minus 24x squared y squared and that is equals to 16xy cube minus 2x and then we will divide through by this because this is what is standard with the y the x what is multiplying the factor multiplying the y the x so i need to divide through by that so that i'm going to have the y the x being equal to 16 x y cube minus 2 x divided by 2 y minus 2 4 x squared y squared okay now let's see any common thing there, yeah, 2 is common here, okay, 2 is common there, so we can factor out that. And then we're going to have 2 out, so this will become what? 8xy cubed minus x. All divided by here, we take out the 2, we have y minus 12x squared y squared. And once I do this, I take out the 2. And when we take out the 2, we'll have what? The y x is now equals to what? 8x y cube minus x all over what? y minus 12x squared y squared. Right. I know somebody will ask, but x now is common here. Well, we can still factor out the x, but remember if we factor out the x, it's still not going to cancel here. So, but if you want to do that, you can still do that. So you can still write this as x out giving you eight, what y cubed minus one into what y minus 12 x squared y squared. That is it. So the y the x is this, we have found the y, the x for that given equation. So this has given us what? The y, the x. Let's look at question number two. This was the question number two that we're given x squared y plus x y squared equals to six. So what we do, we can see here we need to apply our product rule within a differentiate. We want to keep one constant and then we do that. So I take this out, I'm going to differentiate this and keep this constant. So I have 2xy, okay, plus 
Last what? Now I'm keeping this constant. And now I'm differentiating this. That will give me all the y, the x. Right. Then here, we do the same thing. This is also 1 multiplied by y squared plus. This is now giving me x, 2y. The y, the x is equals to what? 0. And now, let's now work out and see finally what we're going to have. So this is 2xy plus x squared the y, the x plus y squared plus 2xy, the y, the x is equals to 0. And from this point here, we're going to group the y on one side and then the y the x on one side and then take out the other to the other side. So we have x squared, the y, the x, plus 2xy, the y, the x is equals to negative 2xy minus y squared. Okay. From here, I take out the y, the x. So the y, the x, is now going to be x squared plus 2xy is equals to negative what? Okay, now let's try and make it look more beautiful. So let's take out negative, factor out the negative and make it becomes like this. Become 2xy plus what? y squared. Right. Now I'm going to divide through by this. So if I divide through this one, what I am going to have is the y, the x is now going to be negative into 2xy plus y squared all over x plus 2xy. Well, when we look at this, we can see that x is common. We can still factor out the x, but there is nothing here to cancel. So we can either leave it or you can still factor it out. The choice is yours. You can do that and there is nothing wrong in doing that. So we can have 2xy plus y squared divided by what? x out into what? 1 plus 2 what? 2y. This. Alright. This. If I do this, now let's check it and see. Uh, we can see this is y here, this is y here. We can also factor out the y. Okay, we can also factor out y and make this also look like this. Like we take out this, okay, and have it like this. We can also write it like this, and that's still okay with that. But remember, nothing cancel out, so we can still leave it as it is, the same way that we have. Let's look at example number three. All right, let's look at example number three. And example 3, this is what we are given. So to solve this, we're still going to solve them 10 by 10. Follow the same guideline, and then we do that. So this gives us 2x minus 6. Okay, let's do that uh, by taking out the 3. Let's do it one by one. So I'm going to differentiate this and keep that. So we'll give 1 multiplied by that plus differentiating this and keeping this so this is x 2y okay and now remember we are differentiating y so it become more the y the x n plus here let's now differentiate this and keep that so that will go with 3y squared the y the x multiply by the x plus now keeping this y cube and differentiating this minus 2y the y the x and that must be equals to what so now we have gotten this we need to open the brackets and then we'll collect the like terms so this gives us 2x minus 3y squared minus 3 oh, minus 6 because there is 2 here 
So that minus 6xy, the y, the x, plus 3, what? 3xy squared, the y, the x, plus y cube, minus what? 2y, the y, the x equals to zero. Now, we are going to collect the like terms by what? By grouping the what? The divide the x together. Okay, this is example four. Let's finish it up. So, we're going to differentiate term by term again. So here, I still going to keep this and then differentiate this. So I have two x, okay, y cubed plus three y squared x squared the y the x is equals to 4x cubed minus 4y cubed the y the x now i need to group the y the x together so i have this will become 3y squared x squared y the y the x plus 4 y cube the y the x equal to 4 x cube minus 2 x y cube now let's factor out the y the x so this gives you the y the x into 3 y squared x squared plus 4 y cube into 4 x cube minus 2 x y cube now i'm going to divide through by this so this will become the y the x is now equal to 4 x cube minus 2 x y divided by 3x squared y squared plus 4y cubed. Now let's see if there is anything that is common there and see if we can factor out and cancel something there. Right. Uh, there is x here, there is x here. But here we have only x, there is no x here. y is here, but there is no y here, no y, no y. So to factor out, there is no need to do that. Once we do this, we we'll still not cancel anything, so we still arrive at what we have and leave this as this, and that becomes the what the value that we are looking for. Right, let's look at the last question, question number five. Okay, let's look at question number five. Question five here, we are going to differentiate term by terms again. So, I'm going to have here 2x plus 4 out. We differentiate that and keep the y plus keeping the x and differentiating the y plus now we have what 2 multiplied by 13 let's do it straight away so that gives us 26 y and then we have what the y the x and that must be equal to what zero because this is a constant so when you differentiate a constant we have a zero there we need to expand this and then we make the y the subject. So this gives us 2x plus 4y plus 4x the y the x plus 26y the y the x and that must be equals to 0. So from here I'm going to keep this and transpose the others. So we have 4x the y the x plus 26y the y the x being equal to negative 4y minus 2x let's factor out the y the x so we have the y the x into 4x plus 26y equals to negative 4 Okay, let's factor out the negative sign. So we have 4y, okay, minus 2x. Now let's divide through 
by this so that we have what the y the x being equals to what negative out 4y minus sorry here must be positive sorry positive 2x okay all over what over 4x plus 26y now let's see uh something is common out there we can see 2 is common here and we can have 2 out here as well so let's cancel out that 2 if we cancel out the 2 from each side we're going to have here to be negative into what 2y plus x and now here we've taken out 2 so we left with what 2x plus now we take out divide this one by 2 okay and then we expect that okay we should have what 13y straightforward we've been able to arrive at what the y the x so our the y the x is not given to us to be this and that is the y the x the value of the y the x that we need to look for thank you very much for watching this video and please do not forget if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please do so do subscribe to our youtube channel and as you subscribe don't forget click on the notification bell so that each time we release any new video, you'll be the first person to watch it. Remember, you have to keep learning. For learning is life, and life is learning. See you next time. Bye-bye.